The Coda Bear's Job Packet Printer tool allows you to print a job traveler along with the documents attached to the job. In this way, all the documents are printed at one time instead of printing each document separately. There are versions of the Job Packet Printer that work with Epicor versions 8, 9, and 10. Today I'll be demonstrating the version of the software that works with Epicor 10.1, and I'll be using the Epicor Training Database. The Job Packet Printer installs to a client machine with a setup program. The installation will put a shortcut on your desktop. To start the program, double-click the icon. When the program first opens, the Settings dialog will open, prompting for the connection information to your Epicor application instance. Enter the information for the application instance. This information can be found in your Epicor administration console. I'll put in the information for my Epicor training instance. Server name for the Epicor server of dev-101400. The Epicor instance is e101train. I'll enter manager for the username and manager for the password. The Epicor binding comes from your application instance settings. I'll select username windows channel as that matches my instance. Click the test Epicor settings button to ensure that things are specified properly. Next I'll enter the connection information to the SQL database that corresponds with the Epicor instance. This uses the standard Windows Database Setup dialog. Click the Update DB Connection button if you need to specify this. For the server name, I'll specify E10-SQL, my SQL server. I'm using Windows Authentication, so I'll leave that checked. I'll start typing the name on my database, E101Train, and it will auto-select. To double-check, I'll click the Test Connection button and make sure the settings work, then click the OK button. The program automatically tests the database to ensure connectivity for the job packet printer and you should see a message indicating the number of companies found in the database. Now we'll specify the company to use, Epicor Education. This list of companies will only show the companies the user has access to. We'll be using the standard SSRS report for our demo. The version of the tool that works with Epicor 10 uses an SSRS report for the job traveler. If you have developed your own job traveler, you can use that instead of the stock Epicor report. Just make sure you have a report style defined for your custom report. The group Select Attachments From allows you to specify where the program looks for attachments. I'll select everything as we want all the information to be printed. You can then specify the job traveler options. These are the same options you'll see when you print a job traveler within Epicor. Lastly, I can select the document types that I wish to have printed by default. This list is populated with those document types appropriate for the company selected above. Maybe I only want document types that are blank or PDFs to print. All others are not things I want on the shop floor, so I'll select just those two items from the list. If you wanted all document types to print, you can select the checkbox and all document types will be printed. I'll click Save Settings and Close and start using the program. Each user can have unique settings. The program is set to upgrade settings from version to version so that you do not have to re-enter this information each time a new version is deployed to the client machine. Now we're into the main window of the program. If you need it, you can click the Settings menu item to get back to the Settings dialog that we just left. There are a few ways to add jobs for printing. First, we can specify a job number and click Add Job. I'm going to enter a single job number, 2493, and click the Add Job button. Our job is added to the grid. To add multiple jobs, I can type the job numbers with commas between them. A range of job numbers can be added by separating two job numbers with the word 2. In our grid, notice the plus sign next to our job. If I click the plus sign, I can see the specific documents that will be printed as indicated by the checkboxes in the print column. By default, the documents with the type of blank are selected and so are the PDF documents. I can uncheck specific documents if I wish so that they are not included in the printing. I can also add jobs by selecting a date range. I can specify either the due date, the default, or the start date. I can enter the start and end date range and specify the status of a job. To add jobs, I would click the Add Range button. I can also click the Add Mass Print button to add all the jobs that are marked for mass printing in Epicor. 
The Clear All button will clear my results so that I can start another batch for printing. Once I have my jobs and their documents selected, I can click the Print Packets button. This will generate a PDF of the items to be printed. Once the combined document is ready, it will be displayed in the default PDF reader as set up within the operating system. You can then send the documents to the printer as you would normally print from your PDF reader. If a document cannot be found, the item will be highlighted in red in the grid and the print box will be unselected. Alternatively, I could have clicked the Auto Print checkbox before clicking the Print Packets button, and this would have sent the documents automatically to the printer without previewing them in the PDF reader. If you want more information or are interested in purchasing the Job Packet Printer Utility, you can email sales at codabears.com or call 630-672-7688.